Noah and Elijah's Heroic Adventures, Episode 4, The Riddle of the Swimming Pool. One sunny afternoon, Elijah and Noah were sitting on Noah's patio playing a board game. The birds were chirping, and the leaves on the trees rustled gently in the wind. I think I'm going to win this time, exclaimed Noah enthusiastically, placing a game piece. Let's see, replied Elijah, thinking about his next move. Suddenly, their bracelet started to light up again. Again? asked Elijah in surprise. What could it be this time? Noah tapped his bracelet, and the familiar map of the city appeared before their eyes. A dot by the school swimming pool lit up red. The swimming pool? Noah asked in surprise. We only had swimming lessons there the day before yesterday. Maybe something's wrong, said Elijah. We should find out. The two friends made their way to school. When they arrived, they saw that the swimming pool was closed. Some children were standing outside, scratching their arms. Their skin was red and itchy. That looks bad, Elijah remarked. We have to find out what's wrong, Noah said determinedly. Let's try to get in. But the entrance to the pool was locked. How are we supposed to get in now? asked Elijah. Maybe we can find another way, Noah suggested. They crept around the building and discovered a small window that was open. We can get through that, Elijah said. I'll shrink us down. Elijah activated his bracelet, and they both shrank to toy size. They climbed through the window and found themselves in the swimming pool. Everything looked normal at first glance, but they knew something was wrong. What should we do here? asked Noah, perplexed. There's nothing to fix here, and what should we do with the toolbox? There was a rattle in the box, and the saw wanted to speak. Hey guys, remember that your superpowers can adapt to different situations. Press the symbol on your bracelets again. Elijah and Noah looked at each other and did as the saw said. Elijah's superhero suit changed and it was suddenly fiery red. Noah was suddenly wearing a smock and goggles. The toolbox had a new compartment full of test strips, test tubes and liquids. Wow, that's cool, exclaimed Elijah. We need to test the water, said Noah and opened the case. The test strips popped out. Hello, boys. Ready for a new investigation? asked the chlorine test strip cheerfully. Yes, we need to find out why the children have skin irritation, said Noah. I think we already know it has something to do with the chlorine and the pH, Elijah said. But we should make sure we check all the factors. Good idea, said the chlorine test strip. Let's be systematic. Noah took the chlorine test strip and dipped it into the water. After a short time, a color appeared on the strip. The chlorine level is too high, he said. Do you know why chlorine is added to the water? Not exactly, Elijah replied. Chlorine is added to the water to kill germs and bacteria. It ensures that the water stays clean and doesn't cause illness. But if there is too much chlorine in the water, it can cause skin irritation and other problems, explained the chlorine test strip. That's interesting, said Elijah. And what does the pH value do? The pH test strip jumped into the water. The pH value measures how acidic or alkaline the water is. A balanced pH value ensures that the water is pleasant for the skin and doesn't cause irritation. If the pH value is too acidic or too alkaline, this can also cause problems. The pH is also too acidic, said the pH test strip after it changed color. So we know the water is not okay, Elijah said. But what do we do now? At that moment, they heard a loud noise. What was that? asked Noah, startled. It was coming from the engine room, said the saw. We should go and see. Elijah and Noah made their way to the engine room, but the door was locked. How do we get in there? asked Elijah. I have an idea, said the wrench. Noah, use me to loosen the screws on the door. Noah took the wrench, which was also in the case, and loosened the bolts on the door. They carefully pushed the door open and entered the engine room. Inside, they found the cause of the problem. 
a pump was faulty and was releasing too much chlorine into the water. We need to fix the pump, Elijah said. But how? Let me do it, said the hammer, which was also in the case. I can take out the defective parts. The hammer worked quickly and removed the damaged parts of the pump. We need new parts now, he said. But where are we going to get them? Noah asked desperately. Look in the case, suggested the wrench. Noah opened the case and found spare parts for the pump. How handy, he exclaimed happily. Let's install the parts, said the hammer. Elijah and Noah helped him put the new parts in. Once the pump had been repaired, they tested the water again. The chlorine level and pH were back to normal, but Noah noticed that the chlorine level was still slightly elevated. It usually takes a while for the excess chlorine to dissipate, the chlorine test strip explained. But maybe there's a quicker solution. Elijah, can you break down the chlorine faster? asked Noah. Elijah thought about it for a moment. Maybe I can enlarge my hands enough to cover the entire pool and imitate sunlight to break down the chlorine faster. Elijah concentrated and let his hands grow huge until they covered the entire pool. Intense light radiated from his hands, mimicking the UV rays of the sun. The chlorine began to break down quickly. After a few minutes, they tested the water again. The chlorine content is now normal, said Noah with satisfaction. Well done, boys, said the wrench. You've done a really good job. Thank you, said Noah. We couldn't have done it without your help. We make a great team, Elijah said proudly. Let's see what adventure awaits us next. The two friends returned to their normal size and left the pool. Elijah and Noah smiled, knowing they were ready for the next time their bracelets would light up and a new adventure called.